The market has rebounded nicely. Last week, I think all indexes were up over 5%. Today, indexes are down. Common question I'm getting. Hey, Paul, is this the time to buy? As I always tell you, you should always dollar cost average into low cost ETFs because you don't know where stocks are going to go. We don't know the future. However, if the direct question is, Paul, I just want to know, are stocks overvalued? Emphatically, 100% yes. There are three major long term metrics that are very reliable showing future returns. They're the stock market to GDP ratio, also known as the Buffett indicator, because Warren Buffett says at any given time, this is the most reliable metric of value. There's the price to sales ratio, and there's the 10-year cyclically adjusted PE ratio. What that one does is, instead of looking at the one-year PE, it takes the 10 years of PE, brings it all to today, and then divides the stock market price by that average. And the reason that's done is it takes out the ebbs and flows of the one year, good year, one bad year, et cetera, and evens it all out. Here where they stand today. The stock market GDP ratio is currently at 150%, even after the market's 20% fall. Historically, it's 75%. That's double. The price to sales ratio, 2.3 to one. Historically, it's one. And the 10-year P.E. ratio is currently around 29. Historically, it's 16. These all scream that the market is worth about double where it's at, worth about half of where it's at today. Now, does that make mean you're going to go out and sell everything? No. Relax. Again, I want to remind you about what your goal is. Your goal for our average views, viewer is to save for retirement. This is the chart of where stocks go over a long period of time. But this is how it gets there. And guess what? It is impossible for you to sell here and buy here. So instead, buy everywhere over here. And the reason being is over a long period of time, you're going to buy here and buy here. But on average, you're going to pay this. And if you do that, if you do the simple, mindless exercise, you will crush all of your friends, family, and all those financial advisor gurus out there. They cannot touch this. Why? Because everyone has the emotional aspect that hurts them when things get scary. I'm not trying to brag, but when things get scary, I actually said today, I'm like, man, the market's so boring now. This is boring to me. I love seeing the big red days. Why? Because I'm a value investor who buys individual stocks. Because I have eight or nine businesses upstairs, one of which is almost a thousand apartments. So I can afford to be sitting in cash for a long time. But the average person saving for retirement can't afford to miss out on market gains. So what do you do? You dollar cost average, but emphatically, absolutely without a doubt, stocks are overpriced. When I hear the bank teller at my bank telling me that he's buying the dip in amazing companies like Coinbase, Amazon, Tesla, and what was the fourth one? Uh, what was the fourth one? I don't remember, but it was some other hyped over, oh, Zoom, overpriced stock. I was like, oh my God, that's how I know. When the 18-year-old caddy at the country club last year, I played one round in the year. I don't play golf. I played one round. When he tells me that I'm wrong on Palantir and Bitcoin, go check out those prices since June of last year, by the way. I know things are overpriced. It doesn't even take metrics to know it. It's the whole cocktail party theory. When the average person is telling me what to buy, when the average 18-year-old kid is telling me how I'm wrong, that's fine. I could very well be wrong, but I won't be wrong as much as it will hurt him when he is wrong. Palantir and Bitcoin are down 70, 80, 90%, depending on which company it is, which investment it is, since he said that. We got to weed out everyone. We got to get to the point where people don't want stocks anymore. The good news is you're watching this video. I'm telling you, that will happen. It'll come to the point where, ARK Investments and Kathy Wood and Disruption, and she will retire. Mark my words. I've seen this other videos. She'll use the market going down further as an excuse for retirement when her disruption doesn't work. Value is based on the long run and profitability. But if companies are diluting and selling for hundreds and hundreds of times earnings, if they even have earnings, things are overvalued. Those metrics I showed you earlier means everything is overvalued. Not everything. Even I own 15 stocks right now. I'm finding value, but I have a lot more stocks that I don't own yet that I have put in place at lower prices to get them in the future they fall. I'm ready to take them over. I love when stocks fall. You should program yourself to love when stocks fall because just like your favorite 
clothing, and any sort of accessory, anything you like to buy, you buy more of it what's on sale. Do the same thing for investing. If you love the company at 100, you should really love it at 50. But unfortunately, what ends up happening is when you buy a company at 100, but you don't know why you bought it, when it falls to 50, you can't explain why it fell. And therefore, you have, to, you have to bail on it. That's not the right thing to do. If you buy a company based on good fundamentals that's worth 100, it very, would, could, very well could fall to 50, 40, even further. If the fundamental thesis stays the same, you keep buying more. Just like the S&P 500. The U.S. economy is not going away. If it falls, just keep buying more. If it goes below that 10-year average of 16 PE, if it goes below the 75% stock market GDP, it got as low as 32% in 1982. You buy more. And you keep buying month in, month out, quarter in, quarter out, whatever it is you're doing. Is it every week, every week, every month, every quarter, every year, whatever it is, keep doing it and you will crush everyone else. Trust me on this one. If you're new to this channel and you like what I've heard, I'm Paul. I have eight or nine in business upstairs. I'm a value investor. And you go watch my past videos to see all the things that have happened. If this makes sense to you, please subscribe to the channel. Watch our other videos. It's very consistent. We have a process that works. The more you know, the less you fear. I'm very big on understanding and learning more because you'll fear less when you do. So to repeat, stocks are overpriced, but there'll be a time when I'm telling you stocks are underpriced. Stay with the channel. Just watch this next video if you're really interested on the upcoming recession. Could be the best thing that happened to you. It could be an opportunity of life.